This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Freaking.com Um, yeah, according to the union leader, there was a, um, a, I guess, a bill that just passed the House that lets the police use tear gas drones against the people. Did you vote for that? Um, I don't know. Did I don't you? Know, I don't remember a specific bill that let people use tear gas. Did you vote? Well, <laughs> okay. So there was this bill that I guess just passed the House. According to the union leader, it. Um, I'm really off of you. Mr. Sherlock, question for you. Did you vote in favor of the, the drone bill? I guess it was yesterday. How many votes do we have? I don't know. There's a record. I can't remember. You don't remember if you voted for it or not? I think I did. In fact, I believe I did. What do you support the drone bill? Well, I don't think I'd vote for it if I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, uh, to, to what extent were you aware of the fact that it lets police... <laughs> oh, All right. I have, a, I have a no interruption policy. Go for it. Hey, how are you? Hey, Ali. Oh, well, the idea is that I'm not supposed to be interrupting people anyway. Oh, Representative Welsh? Yeah, a question a for you. Uh, I guess the union leader is reporting there was just a bill passed, I think it was probably yesterday, uh, that lets police use tear gas drones against the people. Did you vote for that? I voted for the bill, but not for that particular measure. It was coming to my committee. Uh, I don't know when we're going to hear it, but we will most likely review that and take it out. Oh, so even after the whole House voted yes on it, it still has to go back to committee? It has to go back to criminal justice because there's penalties on it. I see. And then it goes back to the House again? Yes, it does. I see. So there's still three chances to stop it, not just two. That's true. Okay. I appreciate you knowing so much, and uh, thank you for the information. Anytime. All right. Take care. So I thought that guy was old when I first moved to New Hampshire 10 years ago, but I tell you what, 10 years later, he's still spry enough to go up three stairs to get to that hearing and know everything about the first question he was asked. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of New Hampshire. And I should add that these are three very tall flights. Mr. Welch, a couple months ago you had indicated that this uh, gas the people from the air provision could be taken out of the drone bill. Has that in fact occurred at this point? Is it already out? Which? Uh... Well, there was a provision in the bill as of a couple months ago that would allow a special exception for police so that they could use tear gas from the air on people. I didn't think that was in the, it wasn't in our bill. Uh, well, according to the union leader there, it, it was in a bill, and in, I, I believe you had indicated that you had voted for that bill, but that it could be changed that that provision was no longer in there. Are, are you not are not aware of such a provision? It's in the bill now. To, to use drones for tear gas? Yeah, I, I, was, I was not aware that it was in the bill, uh, but it is in there now, and uh, my feeling is that the uh, the prime sponsor, Representative Kirk, was going to have that removed in the Senate, and some folks just didn't like it, and down it goes. Didn't like, didn't like the idea of removing it, or just didn't like the bill overall? They didn't like the idea of the uh, law enforcement using drones for tear gas. So the bill has been officially killed, or just ITL'd, or...? It's, as far as the committee's concerned, it's ITL. I see. And, but this is a different bill from the one that's before your committee? This is a bill that we got as a second committee bill. We were only dealing with the penalties on it. And uh, all we were supposed to do is deal with the penalties on it. And when I voted yes to pass it, I conditioned my vote by saying I'm only voting on the penalties. So I vote yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. That came up in our last conversation. But anyway, I appreciate your time and knowledge on the subject. Well, I'll see you next time. I guess so. Okay, unless you have anything to add. No, that's it. All right. Take Thanks care. so much. Take care.
Egypt people is very nice, and if the Egypt people take my advice, they will strike down the one party state they fear. But that had better not happen here, cause we know that everything would fall apart if the city of Keen, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keen and sort of kind of cut spending. Cause the government needs some expensive things like the wasteful 34 West building and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers and other people who could be considered swearers. Freaking.com